right buyers so i get a lot of questions about doing rent to own buyers sometimes wanted to find out if they can do rent to own so what is rent to own which sometimes is also called lease with option to buy this is when a homeowner rent a house with the intention of selling it to that tenant at the end of the specified lease uh, period Sometimes it can be 12 months and sometimes it can be 24 months to 48 months, you know, like one year, two years or three years. The tenant agreed on the contract that is signed that they will buy the house at the end of the lease. That means they will be able to get a mortgage, qualify for a mortgage and um, buy the house. So why do homeowners do rent to own? Sometimes homeowners do rent to own if the market is very slow. The house cannot be sold quickly and the seller, the homeowner needs to uh, sell and move forward. And tenants, buyers do rent to own because they do not have good credit to qualify for regular mortgage. So they will do rent to own for a specified period of time so that they can get their credit together and be able to buy the house. So what do you need to know about rent to own? So for an homeowner, what you need to do about rent to own is you need to get a contract written and signed and agree on a time frame that the uh, tenant is going to uh, buy the house. So if it's 12 months, if it's 48 months, you need to get a agreed and signed. And also deposit to hold on the house. So the, sometimes the homeowners may decide on the price upfront. Or they may decide on the price when uh, the market price when they're ready to sell. All this has to be in the contract. For a renter that wants to do a home, uh, rent to own, what you need to know is because you don't have credit, you need to have cash. You cannot not have both. Most rent to own will require four to six months rent down as down payments. This will be used towards the down payments when you're ready to buy the house. But this will give this homeowner assurance that you're serious about buying this house. And it will give them assurance you're gonna do what you need to do to get your credit together so that you can buy the house at the time agreed upon. So you don't have credits, but you have to have money. And people that do rent to home, they have to have money. So if you have four to six months worth of rent that you need to put down, that is what is going to be required for you to do a rent to home. So, but here's a caveat. At the end of that time agreed upon, one year, four or two years or three years, whatever the uh, term is, if the renter did not buy that house at the end of that term, the renter is going to lose that deposit. Because guess what? You've really wasted time and effort that the homeowner cannot uh, sell that house at that time. So that deposit is non-refundable. So you have to make sure you do what you need to do to get your credit right and be able to qualify for regular uh, for mortgage so that you can buy the house. The other thing is your regular rent while you are while you are doing rent to own, you pay your rent on time because even as you're doing rent to own, you still have to pay your rent on time. If you don't pay it on time, the owner can take you to court and get you evicted if that happens of course you lose the deposit because you already have a signed lease to own option the other thing that you have to understand is because you're buying this house and you're buying it you want to buy this house and you're doing everything possible to get it ready the renter is going to be responsible for the upkeep of the house during that time because in good faith you want to buy the house is your going to be your house all you need to do is to make sure you qualify for a mortgage at the end of that lease so that you can buy the house. It becomes yours. So what you need to do during that period of time is to take care of the house. It's your house. So that, that is, you know, make sure you take care of the house. You don't call the owner with every little uh, issues with the house because you're buying the house. So for an homeowner, the contract needs to be signed and sealed for renter, the contract needs to be signed and sealed. So that is a caveat about rent to own. We don't have a lot of rent to own in the DMV area. Why? Because our market is very fast. We do get 
buyers that are buying the house for what we're putting it on the market for. The market is not slow. Some areas, probably in Baltimore area, some of those ones have rent to own, but not a lot. But in the District of Maryland, in the District of Columbia, Maryland area, and Virginia, we do not have a lot of rent to own. So that is the lowdown about rent to own. Ciao.